Earlier this week, a horse escaped its stable in Strawberry Mansion and used I-95 as its racetrack. Thankfully, the horse made it home safe and sound, but his adventure went viral on social media, earning him a new name. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Marcella Bayeto has the story. From galloping on I-95 early on Tuesday morning. I couldn't believe 95. Now how you get down there? To back home at Fletcher Street Urban Riding Club. The highway horse is finally getting a name that fits the viral moment, either 95 North or Freeway. I say Freeway. Me personally, I 95. Everybody say 95. I think I might say Freeway. But for the club's founder, Alice Farrell, who picked up the Dutch harness horse after he was caught by police, only one name makes sense. I like 95 North, but that's where he was going. 95 North. Once the votes were in, it was time for a couple of young riders and two horseshoes to make the final decision. We're going to let the kids decide with the horseshoe contest. Freeway! It's a name that 16 year old Tremaine Garvin says fits him perfectly. Are we all building a bond with the horse because he had a new horse? And you want him getting used to people touching him, loving him, caring for him. So he's he a real fun guy. Even though the nonprofit isn't completely sure how Freeway was let out, they think vandalism could have played a role in it. I was thankful that he didn't get hurt, and I'm thankful that he didn't cause no accidents. They're also thankful that the whole situation is leading more people to know about the free riding opportunities for kids and the history of black horsemen in Philly. This is a worse nightmare to have a horse on 95. But at the same time, it's kind of been like a blessing in bringing awareness to the work that we're trying to do. Now that Freeway has been officially renamed, the hope is that he will continue to stay safe and healthy here. Now those with the stables, though, they say they are taking increased measures for security, like implementing cameras. In Strawberry Mansion, Marcelo Bayeto, CBS News, Philadelphia. Well, clearly he's a fun guy who loves an adventure.